Okay, so let's configure a new group. Um, so we're going to show you this, just the basic way you would set this up. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Um, it's only a few clicks, so let's go ahead and do it and uh, have your new group up and start it. So what you're going to do is pull up any of the, the Google pages, like your if you're in your mail, uh, oh, this will be your mail, or your calendar. Up across the top, there'll be groups. And so you just click groups. It'll bring you to this page. At the top, you'll say create group. So I just clicked it. And let's just make uh, one for your, uh, for your Metro team. And it's going to be Metro team at crew.org. So you could have whatever your, your, you know, whatever your campus or your ministry, whatever collaborative inbox you want to have the name, it'll be that at crew.org. That's what people can email. So this is for our, our staff team. And there's two settings you're going to need to change on this page. Uh, the first, actually three, because the first one you're going to tell it, this is going to be a collaborative inbox. Great. Um, that's the type of inbox we want, because we want to be able to work together as a team to share the load of all the emails that will come into this. The second thing you want to change is who can post to this. By default, it's only people in our organization, but you want students, people at the university, anybody to be able to to email this. So we're going to make that change. And then who can join the group? That You might want volunteers to help you joining it. And so you, I would suggest checking anyone can ask. So I selected that. So adding, changing those three things literally sets up your group. We say create. And what it's doing in the background is going and it's creating this new uh, email alias. There it is. It's already done. Metro team. Congratulations, you're ready. Um, the first thing I'd suggest you to do is to make it one of your favorite groups. So it's a little easier to find. So if I click on my groups over here, it's going to list all the groups you're part of. And you'll probably be part of some distribution groups and different types. But here's this Metro team. So if, if, if I click Add to Favorites, um, I have to click a few times. But what you want it to be is that the star is yellowy. So now if I click on Starred, my groups that I tend to access a lot, um, well, that's Starred Topics. My groups, well, it shows up here. How do you do? Oh, it's Favorites, so it shows at the bottom. There we go. So here's my Metro Team. My Metro Team box. And so that there's no topics in here, but this is, this is my Metro Team. So this is my collaborative inbox where it's all set up. What we need to do now is um, add my team. So if we click over here to manage, you're the owner right now of this. So you're, you have full power of this entire box. You can do anything you want. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is invite members to your team. So let's invite some people. Um, Steve's been helping me out with this. So here's Steve Pierce. And let's invite uh, Arwen uh, to uh, one of our fictional crew.org people. Uh, and uh, this will be our team box. Our team inbox. And then I'm going to click send invites. Now, here's the key thing. You got, I would recommend waiting for them to go ahead and reply. Because um, if you click on all members, they're not going to be a member yet. Um, my friend Steve actually just saw me do this. I waved at him, and he's going to go um, accept it. Here are the outstanding invites. If you click that, Arwen and Steve. So they're they're waiting to be to be um, added to the group. So maybe you could do this in a staff meeting. You just quick add everyone. And whoa, Steve was fast. Look, he already accepted it. So he's no longer an outstanding invite. He is a he is a member of the group. Um, now, once everyone's accepted it, what I'd suggest you to do, and again, this is, this is the simplest way we found to set this up so that um, you don't have any funky issues or, or uh, not really quite understand how, to, how this works, because it's a very powerful tool, but what we try to do is come up with just the simplest way to do this. And so this is what we'd recommend. Uh, click this box to select everyone, so this will be your whole staff team. You change delivery settings to no email. So right now, see it says all email right here? We're going to click no email. This is going to change from all to no email. 
That's the first thing you want to do. The second thing you want to do, and this is for each individual person, so uh, maybe you're in your staff team right now and you say, all right, here, go to your group. So we made this a favorite here for Metro team. And you're going to click up here on my settings, membership and email settings. And you want to say, don't send me email updates. And you want to uncheck, uh, automatically subscribe me to email updates when I post to a topic and click save. So each person in your team will go do that. Now, the reason you do that is what, we're, what we want, the dream setup we have is that all communication would go through this Metro team inbox. We're done, by the way, setting it up. I'm just going to talk, kind of explain what happened. All communication is going to go through this box. So if you need to go on a support trip and, and uh, there's a topic that comes in here and, and you can't finish it, you could assign it to someone else on their team. They could go in and see the whole history and just start working. If it's in your inbox, some of the emails, and it's in different places, it gets confusing. And so what we try to come up with is just the simplest way to do this. It's really powerful if you want to spend the time and figure out you know, a complex system that's just going to work slick for you, great, go for it. But I think for 99% of us, or maybe just 90% of us, this will be uh, what we want. Um, so let's just create a topic just so you can see real easily what, what happened here. Um, I'm over in my Alec account, Metro team at crew.org, and I'm going to uh, send this email. So I just sent this. Uh, I'm going to go back to my Metro team. If I uh, refresh here, um, it shows uh, that I got a, a, po a post. Um, oh, a, a second thing you're going to want to do, I think, uh, is change. No, we are in you want to change your view to a moderator list view. I don't know what will come up default for you, but I'll show you what happens. If I click on this, and we'll do more details in this, but I'm just going to take it to assign to myself. So watch the next video for more details on here. I can see that I own this, and all the other ones, you can see who in your team is taking care of it real quickly. They'll show up there. Um, so I own it, and I can reply. The one thing we got to do every time to the way we have this kind of this dream setup we have is to always reply as the box. So anytime you reply, change from you to post on behalf of the Metro team uh, and say, yes, I want, want it. Thank you. So I, I want this room for our weekly meeting this week. And I uh, click post. And so back in my uh, Outlook account, I got from the Metro team inbox her request and then my reply but I did that all from this little from this web interface here so um, this is the simplest setup this is what's going to really help um, I think save your team a lot of time and sharing the load of this box keeping track of who's taking care of what uh, and keeping it all in one spot so it's easy for for you to take over for each other or to for someone else to, to come in and oh I know the answer to that and then you can see that they already replied um, so I hope this helps and uh, check out the next video for the, the details of, of more of the inner workings of uh, how to work together as a team.